Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about sunscreens. I have been testing different sunscreens, so I am going to be sharing my thoughts on them. A couple of these I've shared before, but it's been a while, so so many of you guys have been asking me what sunscreens I use, so I'm going to get right into this video. Really quickly, I just want to tell you that I prefer to use mineral sunscreens over chemical sunscreens. I'm not going to tell you that you need to use a mineral sunscreen. You just have to research it yourself and do what you think is best for you. There's lots of different people sharing their opinions on it. Some people say you don't have to use a mineral sunscreen. Some people say you should only use a mineral sunscreen. Um, some people say that there's evidence that shows it can be harmful. I'm one of those people that I feel like it, it, the chemical sunscreen is harmful. That's my opinion. Again, I'm not telling you not to use a chemical sunscreen. If you are using it and you prefer to use it, then keep using it. A mineral sunscreen uses two natural minerals, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Mineral sunscreens sit on top of your skin and they reflect the UV rays away from your skin where a chemical sunscreen gets absorbed into your skin. So I have been testing some, and I want to talk about the ones that I've been testing, and then I'm going to tell you, talk about the ones that I've been using that I really, really enjoy. I'm going to be testing more sunscreens. If there's any sunscreens that you would like me to share on my channel, either face, body, doesn't matter, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to test out. One is the body sunscreen and one is the face. So let me talk to you about both of these. This is the body sunscreen. I'm gonna read a little bit of this on here so you know what it is. This is a hydrating sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF of 50. This is lightweight, non-greasy, has three essential ceramicides and it's a mineral sunscreen. This one I don't believe is water. No, it says water. It says use a water resistant sunscreen if you're swimming. So this you can't swim in. I do not like this one at all. I just feel like it's very, very sticky. I feel like it's really hard to spread out and it just I just feel sticky. I just feel like everything is sticky. I just do not like this one at all. Probably so far, probably one of the worst ones I've used so far. So I just don't like this one at all. And by the way, if you're using any of the ones that I don't like, please don't be offended. It just did not work out for me. So I'm just sharing my experience with it. Your experience may be different. Your expectations might be different than mine, but I just did not like this one at all. Then I decided to try the face one. The face CeraVe hydrating sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 30 for the face, lightweight, non-greasy, three essential ceramicides, niacinamide, again, a mineral. Again, I did not like this. I did not like this on my face. I didn't like the way it felt. I didn't like the way it spread. I just did not care for this. So these, I, I don't like at all. Don't like them. Hated them. Then I decided to pick this one up. This is the Copper Tone Pure and Simple 100% Natural Botanicals for your face. 50, I guess it's SPF, it just says 50 on it. it. Says it won't clog pores, has zinc oxide protection. It says no, it says no PABA, parabens, platholates, fragrances, dyes our oxybenzone, water resistant up to 80 minutes, broad spectrum SPF. 50. Now this one goes on white. When you put it on, it goes on white, but it does spread out really, really nicely. I didn't find it to be greasy or heavy on me. I actually enjoy using this one. So this is one that I've been using with my daily makeup routine. There's a couple that I use and I will get to it, but this is one of them that I do enjoy using, but it is it is white, but it does blend in. Another one that I decided to try because I've heard so many people talk about this one, and it is the La Roche Passe um, Athenos 50 Mineral. This is the tinted formula, the tinted version. It says ultra light sunscreen fluid, water resistant up to 40 minutes, fragrance free, paraben free, tested on sensitive skin. So you shake this really, really good and you apply it. This, my friends, is tinted. Okay, I'm going to show you 
this one. This is the Australian Gold. So I want to show you the difference. First off, it's really watery, so you'll see that. And it is tinted. I mean, this one actually makes it look like I have a little bit of makeup on when I wear it. It's tinted. So here is my Australian Gold, and here is the Athenos, and you can see the difference in them. Do you see that? So that one is definitely a lot darker than this. So that I'm not really crazy about. The other thing, when I was using this, I was breaking out. So I don't know that this is for oily or combo skin. Maybe this would be better on drier skin, but I use this and I was breaking out, so I don't like this. So this I would not recommend. Um, like I said, maybe if you had dry skin, it would, it would be okay, normal or dry skin. But on my combo skin, no. Plus, it made me break out, so I did not like this. This was a huge disappointment. Yeah, this was a huge disappointment, and this was expensive for, for drugstore. This was really expensive. The Sun Bum Mineral. Here's another one. Now, this one is for your body. This is a Sun Bum Mineral Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion with UVA, UVB, Broad Spectrum, SPF 50, water resistant, up to 80 minutes, dermatologist tested, zinc formulation, blah, blah, blah. So this I liked, but it just has a really strong scent to it. Normally I don't mind, you know, a little bit of scent, but to me this is kind of strong. It's not offensive, but it's just, I mean, you might love it. If you love that beachy sunscreen, kind of like, I don't know, pineapple, coconut kind of smell, then you're going to love this. I just felt like it was a little too much for me. I would have preferred not to have it scented, but it go, it went on really, really well. I personally did not find it to be water resistant. I would put this on, I would wait to go in the pool for at least 20 minutes. And even when I waited, I would go in the pool and I'd see the oil from the sunscreen floating. So I would not say this is water resistant, maybe sweat resistant, I don't know, but chlorine pool resistant, no, it is not for me. So um, I would not repurchase this. I will use it up when I'm out at a park or something, but because the scent and all that, I don't personally like this one. Let me talk about the ones that I really like. Now these are ones that I have repurchased over and over again. This one is from Australia Gold. This is the um, Broad Spectrum 50, SPF 50, mineral lotion, non-greasy, antioxidant rich, UVA, UVB protected, water resistant up to 80 minutes. I would definitely say it's water resistant because I use this when I go into the pool, I actually have to get some more. So I really, really enjoy this. Let me tell you something that I do. Um, I will tell you one thing I don't like about this though, it is hard to get off and I will tell you why. When you are using sunscreen, whether it's on your face, or which I will talk about more in a second, okay, after I share this, you have to reapply it. It is only going to work up to whatever it says. So if it's good for 80 minutes, then you gotta reapply after 80 minutes. If it's 40 minutes, you gotta reapply after you have to reapply it after that time. When I am in my pool, I am very conscious of that about reapplying because when I'm in my pool, it's all open. So I am just baking in the sun. So I will you know, enjoy the pool, I will get out, dry off, reapply it, wait, and then go back in. If I'm at the beach, I'm the same way. I reapply it, reapply it, reapply it. But I will be honest with you, when, if I'm walking around a park, like if we go to a Disney park or something, we're usually in and out, in and out. I, I will reapply, but I don't reapply it like after 80 minutes or after whatever. It might be a little bit after that, but I do reapply. When you are reapplying this, it is really, really hard to get off. If you're just doing one and done, it's not like that. But if you are reapplying this, I will tell you it is hard to get off. And I don't know if it's mineral sunscreens are more like that than the chemical could be. So I have to really, really scrub with my sea, um, my sea sponge. I have a sea sponge and I will get in there and I really, really will have to get in there and get this off because it's really hard to get off. I can't stress that enough. But other than that, I really do like it. I feel like it spreads really, really nicely. It doesn't feel sticky. You do get that white cast though. You get that. Um, 
but it doesn't feel sticky or anything on my skin. It, it, it's fine, you know. So like I said, I've repurchased it. I will keep on repurchasing it. As far as your face before I sh show the rest of it, always want to make sure that you are putting on a sunscreen underneath your makeup, even if it has a sunscreen, okay? But then when you're out, you've got to reapply. So they do have setting sprays. I'm going to look for some of those. I tried one from Ulta and it's okay. It has a lot of alcohol in it, so that's not good. Um, I should have brought it out here and I forgot to, but I will leave it below. So the one from Ulta that I tried, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm, I'm going to keep looking. But I decided to get this super goop here. This is one of those powder sunscreens. I was using the Color Science, but I no longer want to recommend this because I just feel like I have the hardest damn time getting this out. They, I, I want to, I, you know what I might actually do? I might actually take this apart so I can see what it looks like because I'm not going to use it anymore. I don't like that I can't take the brush off it, so you know you can't clean it. So I don't like that. And I feel like that whatever hole they have for the product is so small that it just doesn't get through. So they really should improve this. They need to fix that. This is really nice. I haven't tried it yet on my face. I just got this. But it's nice because you can take this off. Woo! You can take this off and clean it and then put that back on. I had the cap. I had the safety cap on. That's what that was. But I really like the packaging and everything on that. So make sure that you are reapplying your sunscreen on your face, either using a setting, setting spray, bringing it with, or use a powder like this to make sure that you are reapplying it. You've got to make sure that you're doing that. Wear a hat. If you get one like I have, I don't have it in front of me, that has SPF in it, that's even better because it's going to protect your head too. I will try to link the hat that I wear. You've seen me wear it. If I remember, I will link it up here so you can see what it looks like. Kind of expensive hat, not going to lie to you, but I really, really love it. I wear it all the time. I wear it in the pool. I wear it when I go to the beach. I wear it when I go to the park. I wear it when I go on my walk every day. I wear it all of the time. Love it. This is from Color Science. A year ago, they sent me product, and I'm finally purchasing one of my own. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection 50 um, Chemical Free. 100% mineral. It's sweat and water resistant for 40 minutes. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. My makeup goes on really nicely underneath it. It spreads really, really nicely. I don't feel like I, I mean, I, this lasted me almost a year and I use enough. I'm not like hardly putting anything on. I'm making sure I'm putting it on. Okay. I not only get it on my face, but I get it even on my neck. I use this one. So I love this. Would definitely recommend this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. The other one that I really like besides, so I like this one and the Copper Tone. So those two I like. And then I also like this one. Now this one I would say is more for oily or combo oily skin because some people say this dries them out. I do not have that problem. This is from Australian Gold. It's SPF 50. Sorry, it looks kind of gross. Um, has some of the sunscreen on it. It is um, non-greasy, antioxidant, UVA, UVB, water resistant up to 80 minutes. So I guess I can show you the gross packaging. I didn't show you the color science, so I'll show you that one too. And I guess I should show you the inside of this. I'm not doing a very good job on this today, but I love this. You saw me spread this out. It's, it's a nice thick formula. Um, I really, really like it works really well. Sometimes I'll even put it on the back of my hands, to be honest. This, sometimes it's the one I use on the back of my hands. But I really, really enjoy using that one. Really quickly, let me show you the color science so you can see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It's like that. Spreads in beautifully. Love it. I just love this one. Just feels nice on your skin. It spreads nice. I love it. It's not heavy, greasy. The other one that I love from Color Science is this one. This is their body one. This is the Body Shield. It uh, is chemical free, SPF of 50, 100% um, mineral, water, sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes. I love this one. Now, I don't use this one all the time. I use this one mostly, like for the pool and everything. I like to wear this one when I'm going to be out 
And uh, like I said, I will use this for the pool. I just don't want to waste this one in the pool because it makes your skin look so nice when you wear it. It makes your skin feel soft and pretty. I just love it. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully it's zooming in. It looks kind of bright. It's hard because of the glare of the camera, but I'm going to put this on. This feels, I can't tell you how nice this feels on your skin. It feels so nice on your skin. It's like you're putting on a nice luxury lotion. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel sticky. It just makes your skin feel wonderful. But you don't get that white. Like if I use this, even though I really love it, if I have it on my hands, I will have it all over the dashboard of my car. And I have some in my car. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, okay? If you know, you know. But this feels so nice and I don't get that. I don't get that white or that white cast everywhere. I don't get that. And it doesn't look white on my, my body. See that? See how it looks the same? As opposed to if I use this, then it looks really white. So last year they sent it to me and I just bought one for myself. So I, I love this one. This one is fabulous. So um, that is it. I'm going to be trying some other sunscreens. I don't have it in front of me, but the lip balm that I've been using right now, which I don't love, is the um, is a sun balm lip balm. I have it and it has that same smell. It's nice, but it's kind of a little much for me. So uh, I'm actually looking for some other sunscreen lip balms. And when I get some, I will share with you guys what I think of them. If you guys, again, if you have any sunscreens or, you know, sunscreens that have um, or lip balms that are sunscreen, face sunscreens, body, let me know if there's any that you like, any that you would like me to test out. Let me know in the comments below. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really, really hope that it was helpful and informative. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share my videos. Really, really appreciate if you would share. Make sure that if, you have, if you're not subscribed, make sure you click that button below. Hit the subscribe button. I share new videos every single week. Click the notification bell too so you're notified when a new video drops. And follow me on Instagram as well. I will leave all the links below with everything that I shared in this video. And that is it, guys. Thank you again so much for joining me. Really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos and for your continued support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.